Joining us is AMMK chief and one of the star candidates of the selection here in Tamil Nadu, TTV Dinakaran. He's contesting from Taini as the NDA candidate. And Taini, I must tell you, is seeing a very, very interesting fight this time around. Sir, tell us first, what is the mood on ground in Taini? You've gone back to the constituency after a gap. Uh, Madam Jailalita had asked you to contest. You had won the election from Taini. Now you've gone back. How is the mood on the ground? Yeah... I am actually I born in Tanjavur, but my leader made me as a candidate in 1999, a parliamentary candidate. When it was called at the time, it was called Periyakulam. Uh, their blessings and her campaign and uh, people voted me, and they made me as the MP. From that day onwards, it uh, that place has become my political birthplace. Even though in between I didn't go there for six, seven years, uh, I always remember that place and my experience. I was there for more than ten years. Lok Sabha member one time and uh, Raj Sabha one time. And uh, with the help of our leader, because she also contested from Andhipati and she became the chief minister. Andhipati, you know, you are all aware, it's a uh, late MGR's constituency also. It has become a chief minister's uh, constituency. Uh, it was very helpful for me to fulfill all the expectations of the public. And uh, till now they are remembering that. And after my after my tenure, there were there were uh, there were three MPs. They are comparing my work with them, and they are rating me high. So they are expecting me back. When I went there for campaign after 14 years, I came to know that people were expecting me. And wherever I go, even in a small village, they used to show me what the uh, work uh, done by my MP lad scheme are from the government. And personally also, I used to help them. They used to build temples, churches, mosques. They used to show it to me. This was the temple which you helped us to build. Like that, they are uh, remembering and recalling it. It, it is a different uh, feeling. I hope they will, uh, yeah, they, this time I will win with a very huge mark. The DMK has fielded uh, Tanga Tamil Selvin against you. He is someone who has worked with you. How is that battle playing out? I don't know. Whoever, see, in 99, when I contested, DMK candidate was uh, Mr. Uh, Selvendra. He was uh, MP or he was there in, uh, yeah, he was M MP in uh, ADMK in MGR days. So, uh, this happens in politics. People who are with us and uh, they will go against us. But, uh, I tell you frankly, genuinely, it is the best candidate they can file for my victory. Uh, your decision to join the NDA, tell us a little bit about that. Because in the past you've criticized the BJP and that is something that many are now criticizing you for. Saying that you know you were criticizing the BJP but now you've joined hands with them. What led you to that decision to join the NDA? Actually, before 2020, you know, we were aware. BJP doesn't know the mood of people, even though it's a very experienced party, they doesn't know the mood of Tamil Nadu people. So certain schemes were implemented and uh, that was opposed by the farmers and the public. Now they have understood what should not be done in Tamil Nadu and they have changed. When they were against the uh, people's uh, liking. I was against them. Now they are uh, actually towards the people. They want to give and they are giving uh, schemes for the people. So I am supporting them. People who are criticizing, they will always criticize. And in 2019 I contested alone. I, I had a, uh, no Prime Minister candidate. So we were not able to succeed in what uh, percentage also. So by this time I have selected 
because Modi is giving a very good government and it is good for Tamil Nadu. So why I am supporting uh, Modi? Uh, naturally, I am in NDA alliance. Yours is a party that has a strong support base in several constituencies, several pockets in Tamil Nadu. The question then is why only two candidates from AMMK this time? Yes, uh, to the president Tamil Nadu BJP, Mr. Namalai, I, to, I, I told him openly, we should have a very big alliance. We should uh, have PMK and DMK like parties, already who are all with that. So in order to have a lot of parties, I don't want to have any conditions. I don't want to give the uh, major party who is designing the constituency. Because I used to be with my leader from 89 to 2011. I know the hurdles of the uh, senior party to give consciences to the partners. So I don't know, I know, knowing that uh, problems, I didn't want to pressurize them. I wanted to get less number of seats. I wanted to contest uh, in less number of seats. That was uh, also wanted by my party uh, leaders and my cadres. Because it's a region, we are a regional party, we want to contest, we are focusing on uh, assembly election. So I, uh, I, I wanted only less number of seats. So from the beginning, you were very firm that you want to contest on the pressure cooker symbol. And subsequently, of course, the election commission allotted that to you. But parties like the VCK and the MDMK, they've accused that the election commission is only giving those symbols to the uh, partners of the NDA and for other opposition parties, they are not getting the symbol that they want. How do you respond to that? It is for politics they are talking like this. The reality, reality, the truth is how Mr. Kamala Karsan's Makkal Nidhi Mayam got the symbol. Same way, we also applied, same conditions, same uh, qualifications we have, so we also got it. They are not accusing uh, uh, Kamala Karsan, because he is in their alliance. See, uh, they didn't apply on time. And moreover, I don't know what are the other uh, conditions they didn't fulfill, but in based on what conditions uh, Nidhi Mayam, uh, Kamala Karsan's Makkal Nidhi Mayam got it, we also applied in the same qualification, we got it. You sound very confident about uh, the prospects of the NDA in this election, but the DMK and its alliance parties say, uh, one, uh, they believe that welfare schemes implemented by the DMK government has resonated well uh, on the ground, especially amongst women. Second, they say they have a strong alliance. And third, they say there is a mood against the union BJP government. Do you think uh, this is true? Yeah, no, no, it's strong because in 2019 it was different. At the time, Palli Chami was the chief minister here and uh, uh, DMK was in opposition. Their alliance, they were uh, using uh, the anti-establishment against Palli Chami. And at the time, there was, uh, what to say, there was feeling against, uh, the mood was against the uh, central government also. Now there is no... Uh, incumbency against the central government, only about uh, only against the uh, Stalin's DMK government. So that so they cannot, uh, the, in order to divert it, they are talking like this. But this time, NDA will get good uh, number of seats. But uh, picking on that, you know, they continue to project uh, that the BJP is a party that is discriminating Tamil Nadu when it comes to flood relief funds or when it comes to projects like the Ames Madurai. Uh, the DMK and its alliance parties tried to project BJP as a party that is opposed to Tamil Nadu, that discriminates the state. Will that hurt the NDA? Will that sentiment? No, no, no. Yeah, people are aware that certain schemes they may not be able to help because of the present circumstances. But people of Tamil Nadu, they all know that the Prime Minister and the central government is supporting Tamil Nadu in many schemes by giving many schemes. So, uh, this kind of propaganda, 
will not accept by the uh, people. Uh, the one issue the Prime Minister and the BJP has raised in the last couple of days is that of Kachar people. Uh, the Prime Minister says the Congress and the DMK betrayed the interest of Tamil people, Tamil fishermen especially. Do you think that's an issue that will resonate on ground or uh, uh, the opposition party says, what were you doing in uh, for the last 10 years? No, no. The day by day, every day it's a problem for the central government that Tamil Nadu fishermen are getting into problem and uh, they are all arrested, uh, getting arrested by the Ceylon government. They are only solving it. So why they are uh, telling the truth? It was uh, Congress and DMK betrayed uh, the fishermen by giving uh, Kachitivu to alone so there is no wrong in it but people it's reaching the people they they all believe that uh, modi will solve the problems two last questions uh, the admk says forces that were trying to break the admk have now come together and they are calling this an alliance of betrayal uh, do you agree with that pardon me they say the forces that were trying to break the admk have now come together, the BJP, uh, the AMMK, O Paneer Selvam, all of them uh, have now come together. Uh, th there is criticism against your alliance from the ADP. Oh, oh I don't uh, follow what you say. The AIDMK has said uh, that forces, parties like yours, O Paneer Selvam, BJP, these are all forces that tried to break the AIDMK at one point, try to uh, split the party uh, at one point in time, and now all of them have united, have, all of them have come together. No, no, it's totally wrong. Uh, actually, Palanichami, we only made him as the chief minister. Pandi Silvam helped him to continue the government. We are all aware that uh, BJP helped Amma's government to fill, fill the four years term. But he only expelled me from the party, not BJP. He only expelled uh, Pandit Sulvam from the party. But he is putting the blame on uh, us. It's not correct. It's not true. He is the betrayer. He is going to reap the uh, result for his betrayals. Uh, the NDA believes that this election, the 2024 elections, they will show a historic performance in Tamil Nadu and this will lay the foundation for the 2026 assembly elections where the NDA will emerge as a strong player. Do you agree with that? <coughs> yeah, that's correct. We are going to emerge as the uh, strong players for 2026 and the NDA will form the state government in Tamil Nadu. For that, this 2024 election alliance will be very helpful. And you are going to see, we are going to win in more number of seats and the percentage of vote will be high also. One last question, what is your prediction? And we are going to come back to you on June 4th to see if your prediction was right for the NDA. NDA will uh, win in many constituencies and uh, our vote percentage will be astonished. And uh, 2026, everyone will, everyone will talk. This India will form the state government. Okay, thank you so much for your time. So that was TTV Dinakaran speaking exclusively to India today. He's been crisscrossing the entire state, busy with campaigning.